What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to find sports cards to flip on eBay. Now, keep in mind, this is a very basic tutorial, but with this, you should be able to expand and find other filters and other ways to snipe sports cards. But basically, my simplest method is to just type in auto into the search eBay search bar and then put on a few filters and then you'll see what my method is for finding cards to flip. So as you can see, the filters that I'm going to be putting on, um, you're going to sort it by ending soonest. And then you're also going to put as auction, just so if any buy it now is popping up. Obviously, if they're almost expiring, they're not going to have any value to them. But the auction, some can slip through the cracks. Also, um, for the price, it depends how much you're willing to invest. But I usually don't buy cards over $25. Um, especially because you can't use the eBay standard envelope with these. So it just saves a little bit more on shipping if you limit yourself to the cheaper cards. Um, for my sports, I do baseball, football, basketball, and then I also throw the mixed martial arts in there. I know a lot of other people don't really um, collect those, but I'm a fan of the sport myself, so I like to look through those anyway. And that's pretty much it for the filters go. Um, you could see now that that the filters are in action and you kind of just scroll through um, my method for this i would say is just scrolling through and just looking for players that are relevant or have people talking about them um, retired players unless they're really well known aren't really going to matter i just looked at a jacoby myers there because i know he's young he played for the patriots um, and he could have some value there so i'm going to look up the same card the same exact card um, that i just had and you can see that that's the first card that comes up top. Um, and then I also go to the sold items after that to see if there are any sold. For this particular card, I couldn't seem to find the card that was listed. Um, it's possible that this is the only one on eBay, which means that you could price it at whatever you want and still make a decent amount of money. But I decided to just pass on it because, well, it's pretty unknown and I just didn't want to take the risk on that. Although I have before with certain cards in certain lots. So I'm going to continue scrolling through here, see if I could find a card for you. And right as I say that, there is another card that I want to look into to see if there's any value to be bought here with this card. It is a Ben McLemore Auto. Uh, I just know he's a current player and a lot of people do like him for his play style. So I'm going to look that card up and see if I could get any results. Right off the bat, I see $20 or best offer plus the shipping. And I also see $9.00. Which gets me a little bit excited here. Um, I'm going to go to the sold items to see what have sold. And unfortunately, it's not many. Although I did see some sales there. So this is another card that's kind of risky. Um, you could definitely make a few dollars off of it. Because you're just paying $5 from the card. And I just saw a couple there that sold for 6 7 8 So you're guaranteed a couple dollars here. But it's also possible because I see a lot of listings, which is not necessarily what you want to go off of. But I see a lot of listings that, so, that are listed for more than that and not any lower. So for this, I would probably just set the lowest buy it now as and still make a few dollars off of it. Or you could just hold on to it. That's kind of how this hobby works is a lot of cards you might just hold on to or set at a higher price than what they will sell currently. But as the season moves on, let's say Mecklemore drops a 20-point game, people might be looking for his cards more, and you might lead to a sale. So if you just have a bunch of cards like this sitting around, you'll eventually lead to sales and more and more sales, and it'll come. I will say I was just like most people when first starting out with the hobby. Um, I bought a few cards using the filter methods, and none of them were selling right away, and I thought it was a dud. But once I started to get more cards in my collection, you know, 50, 100 cards... Now that I have over 200 cards in my collection, I'm getting over a sale a day with these cards. And as far as collection cards, I mean collection cards that I've used with this method, trying to snipe cards that are going under the radar. If you have any questions or need any help with this, I would be happy to help. Just comment down below with what you need help with, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.